Hello, welcome to our Tom and Six presentation of my uh, code build for Diablo 2.1. Now, in the guide video, I just ran a bounty with uh, decent success, but now when I have spent some little more time on the build and gotten a little more optimized gear, I want to show it in a rift now. So, I will just go over my gear first now. Uh, rhyme hurt, you could also use a uh, What's the other called? Frozen other weapon, uh, whatever you you know. And uh, I'm using two pieces of captain set. I feel like this is a pretty good set to use if you're going to use uh, free sets. So I went for these, and uh, as you can see, the crafts are pretty good. Uh, you can get these easily yourself. Now I'm using a uh, light of grace. Now I went for the rare frost damage on my offhand. You could also get uh, vitality, but uh, I I didn't feel like I needed the toughness. If it's just going to be Tom and Six, I run this with. So I went with uh, more damage. Now I'm using a uh, poison gem. Uh, you can use whatever gems. Uh, this one is this one is probably pretty good. Uh, so I like to use this one to even with cold. And then I'm using two parts Tal Russia. Uh, pretty a decent roll on my helm. It's pretty good. But my belt is kind of average. It's, so it's not the best. And then I'm using two pieces of uh, Orgles. Now the shoulders are pretty good. Uh, you can see them here. Uh, I also have some with more toughness but no cooldown reduction. I feel like you do need some cooldown reduction with this build. So uh, do go for that. Uh, my bracers uh, that lack some stats, but it's okay. And then I'm using two parts black forms for even more stat bonus. Now this uh, amulet is very good, good, good roller. If it just had crit damage uh, instead of critical hit chance, so that's unfortunate. And I'm just using bane of trap because we will be slowing them up down. So it's a good legendary gem for cold builds. And I'm not using. Uh, a second unity, I just don't have a better damage ring than this one but uh, yeah, just go with whatever last ring you want and then of course I'm also having frost burns but you ha that was like I would say you could run this build without frost burns but if you don't have frost burns you're really out of luck uh, you should try to get these um, hope to get better rolls for mine as well, these are kinda low but it's doable now let's just do a rift. Might as well clock it just to kind of see how slow it is. Now just quickly over the build as well. Uh, I'm using uh, Blizzard with Snowbound, Black Eyes. I'm using trying to use this crystallized armor here. Um, you could also use prismatic armor or even frost nova or anything. So this third skill is kind of up for grabs, whatever you like. And then I'm using Conduit on Magic Raven. I feel like I, I like Arcane Power and Conduit can help a little. Uh, Black Hole, just the cold one. And then I'm using Teleport just to kind of have some survival. Because uh, even if you do freeze the mobs quite a bit, they still hurt and get freeze often. Now you want to kind of just rely on Black Hole to gather the mobs up and then. Uh, do the damage, but as you can see that, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's already clear now compared to Firebird just how slow it is. But that's just the reality. And now I feel like I'm already getting a little heavy pull here. It's annoying having to rely on black eyes. Uh, you kind of have to kill one mob to get damage rolling. Now let's see if we can handle this elite pack. Just a little good. Now, as, as you might see, I'm already now kind of running out of the uh, arcane power, just a little, anyways. It's a bit unfortunate that sometimes you get in this situation where you feel like you like arcane power with this build here. Well, the lead pack died at least, but it takes so long, even for a pretty easy one. 
Um, my problem is definitely ranged mobs that I can gather up as easy uh, with just a single black hole. Now, anyway, so I'm going along. I'm not trying to do a speed uh, rift or anything like that. I'm just pulling like normal. Uh, I'm not gonna skip chests or anything weird like that to increase my kill speed. That's not really my style, anyways. I want to loot most things. Now, as you can kind of feel, if one mob dies and it's all kind of gathered up, it does some good damage then, but until that kind of thing happens it's a bit slow now this dude has 717 million health so it's gonna take some while especially when I have to move away from frozen and I have to spend even longer okay almost there ah. Man, this took time again. Okay, let's see if we can get a big pull together now. Um, would be nice to showcase big pulls as well. Nope, let's just go for it now. We're gonna try burn this fast. Must be possible to. Nope, <laughs> I can't stay in. I die so fast. I only did 200 to 150 million damage on these guys in that time there. It's ridiculously slow. If that had been Firebirds, <laughs> man, I would just have landed a meteor impact. They would have been dead. Okay, one guy up still. Ow, oh, and it does so <laughs> that was funny. Vortex right as the other one explodes. Luckily I'm using my passive to cheat death. Okay. And it's down. So yeah, already five minutes soon into the rift and we killed two lead packs or something. <laughs> Not trying to play bad here or anything to showcase just how awful cold builds are, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me one used to play cold builds and I'm a little bad with it, but I don't know. Just feel like with the items that I do use, um, they're not good items, but if they were equal items to a fire arcane build, maybe it would uh, be much better. But damn, I want a cold build to be good, because cold builds are kind of fun to play. At least frozen orbs are good fun if they have above that. Oh, they almost got gathered up there with my essence of uh, Johan on my follower. But then they split out again. That was too bad because then this pack would have died fast. Anywho, let's um, round this video up. I'll see if I can get a last elite pack. It's taking a little long time now. Okay. Now the problem here is the wasps. We need to deal with that first. So let's just stay and do some do the damage now. Okay, that was some good damage. I think I procced some. Oh, now I don't have my healing potions ready. Oh, it hurts now. Running on a vacuum power.
Man, I can't just stay in and do the damage. I'm getting clobbered if I do that. <laughs> Anywho, that was just the entry to uh, coal builds. I think I will yeah, go out now to town now and uh, clear this build the last bit with fire. Because as you see right now, this is just so slow. So anyways, that was seven and a half minutes to kill just like one third uh, at Torment 6. Yeah, it's very slow. <laughs> Anywho, it can be a fun build. And if you like cold builds, you should uh, try and go for this. Um, anyways, I hope you liked the video and uh, goodbye.